All right, guys, welcome back. Western Sharpies RC, glad you could join me and uh, continuing on with the ta uh, tanker trailer build here. Thought I'd stop, make a little video and share with you guys these little toolboxes that I've been working on that turned out pretty good. Uh, one of them's pretty much done here. And uh, I thought I'd just include the footage. Um, there's not much to them, but uh, maybe give you guys some ideas for your own trailers, whether it's a, a tanker trailer or a flatbed trailer. Um, a lot of these trailers, in real life have these little storage boxes and uh, um, as an alternative to I guess what's out there originally I was gonna purchase these Lizu aluminum ones they're really nice uh, actual aluminum but uh, 60 bucks US 10 bucks shipping I mean that's about 100 bucks Canadian times two it's 200 bucks because I'm building two of these trailers and I thought you know for a fraction of the price maybe I can just make my own now I don't really go in and out of these boxes like uh, like I built on the uh, flatbed trailer here, if you recall. Um, it, this one's functional, but it was a pain in the ass to make. Um, it's 3D printed, and then I put a little magnet in there, and then one on the door. And then I just uh, wrapped it with the RC four-wheel drive checker plate, and then I put a couple little dollhouse hinges on there. So it turned out pretty good, but I never really go in and out of those boxes, so I thought it'd be a lot easier just to make something I guess, uh, only cosmetic. So this is what I ended up with. It turned out really good. Um, like I said, for a fraction of the price, this was probably about six, seven bucks uh, all together with the, uh, the paint, the, the plastic, and then a couple little hinges here. So anyway, um, I got a bit of footage I'll include. Nothing to them really. It's fairly light, oops. Um, but I'm gonna mount it somewhere along the frame here. And uh, because it's that light, I can probably just get it. Oh, I didn't paint the backside. Um, I could probably get away with just putting a couple dabs of glue on there, or uh, maybe put a couple of hinges or brackets on the side and mount it. But anyway, it turned out pretty good. I, I designed it to have uh, a double door look. And uh, yeah, you can see it's got a couple little boogers on there. Always tends to happen when you paint, little things float on top, but I wasn't about to go and sand it again and uh, I'll just live with it. Still looks pretty good. So anyway, that's that. Um, what else do I wanna share with you guys? Also the, uh, the bumper that I uh, built for the, uh, uh, with a panel hitch and all that for the dolly trailer so I could connect the second trailer. I didn't really like this side here, when you uh, fire it up, the, the light kind of illuminates from the back side, and that doesn't really look right. And of course, these wires here don't look the greatest. So I just designed a little, a little piece here to kind of slide over top, like that. I'll do, I'll do a bit of sanding and then paint it up, whether I'm gonna go aluminum or paint it black. I think that'll look nice to kind of cover up the, uh, the wires and then hide the the light shining through so something like that maybe anyway guys that's pretty much it put a link down below i mean if you're already ordering something and you want to include this in your order it's only a couple of bucks i mean shipping's if you're just going to buy this thing maybe 10 times more it wouldn't really be economical but uh Anyway, that's that, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, that's it. See you in the next video. All right, here's the uh, box so far. Got the uh, little hinges on there. They're glued in place. And I uh, hit the actual box with some uh, black paint just to hopefully bring out that chrome finish a little better. Um... I should put a couple little handles on there. So I'll do that next and then let's see what that's gonna look like. Maybe that'll look alright. Maybe not. <laughs> 